Greetings, everybody. Um, I am dealing with the sixth installment of the um, matters around the intergovernment relations and uh, resource matters, uh, the bulletin, the sixth bulletin, uh, giving an eye on perspective of the state of the nation at risk. It will deal with climate change, just energy, the performance of local government, land reform, corruption, as well as water infrastructure. Um, so the president in Estonia uh, raised some significant issues and we spoke at length about climate change uh, and also um, uh, the issues that we need to deal with the climate change. Uh, in summary, these are the issues. The Climate Change Response Fund, which will be a centralized fund to deal with disasters, to mitigate the climate disasters going forward. Uh, poor uh, performance in local government in its governance, financial service delivery does affect all of us as a South African. So this is a key area of focus that we need to uh, improve improvements on. Um, so we begin to hear what is the plan around that, just energy transition and dealing with some of the issues around that. So those are the key issues that we need to focus on. And land reform, about 25% of the land, uh, farmlands have been distributed to black South Africans, meaning everybody who's not white, which is uh, colored Indians and uh, Africans. We want to push this target up to 30% uh, by 2030. Um, the expropriation bill will help with this. We also acknowledge uh, the infrastructure needs of water security, um, uh, bulk infrastructure, sanitation, in terms of agriculture, I think the key issues here that we need to monitor as MPs is uh, farmer support, development programs, uh, support packages to ensure that uh, small subsistence farmers and agri processors and cooperatives get uh, development support, promote sustainable food security, um, both at uh, national and as well as household level, <clears throat> especially in our townships and rural areas. Um, we need to also mitigate for the climate-induced disasters, especially in the rural and agricultural areas, and also in, improve our coordination around biosecurity um, and biosecurity threats, given that uh, we have a strong export-led agricultural expansion drive that we want to push through. Um, we note that uh, the significance of the diverse economy and also capable of in exporting large volumes and creating jobs in the agricultural space uh, between the, um, from 1994 to last year, 2023, uh, our, our exports have grown. Um, we have more than 12.8 billion uh, US dollars of uh, agricultural products going to more than 181 uh, countries across the world, uh, which is uh, significant and we need this room for improvement around that. Uh, expansion of land and under agriculture, we want to increase, uh, improve that. Thousand farmlands are being planted. Uh, we want to ensure that there's uh, household uh, food and water security. Um, in 2022, the statistician general spoke about uh, um, 80% of our people have access to food, while 12, uh, 15% have inadequate or severe inadequate access to, to, to food security, which is a, a big challenge. Um, and this needs to be addressed um, where one quarter of South Africans are going to, to bed without uh, adequate nutrition and food. Uh, it is a, a big challenge that needs to be focused on. Uh, with regards to cocktail, I think here uh, is where more improvements need to happen and uh, the district development model, uh, given um, it has an area location of how do all the different spheres of government come together. Um, we need to see um, improvements around this. Uh, it needs to coordinate planning, implementation, effective coordination. Uh, it seems that the spheres need to do more to ensure that we deal with the, with the model. And so Parliament should receive regular updates from all of these DDMs and uh, progress on challenges and also impact to improve, improve best practice, share best practice lessons learned so that we can improve um, on this model. It does make sense. I think the challenge is around the implementation 
Poor municipalities and poor performance of municipalities, I think uh, the constitution instructs uh, national and provincial governments to provide support and strengthen the capacity of municipalities and if needs be intervene um, and provide hands-on support or put uh, these municipalities under administration. I think the figure is about 60, 61 municipalities uh, that is on this list. Um, that needs critical interventions, ongoing oversight to ensure adequate consequence management uh, um, in local government um, so that we can address and make examples of poor municipal performance. So that, I think, is a key issue that we, we need to, to watch with greater interest. We also need to look at how do we mitigate extreme weather events, the flooding on the coastal areas, the, the droughts, and so uh, there is a climate change response fund and we need to ensure that we improve coordination and financial management to prevent corruption and also fruitful and wasteful expenditure around around some of these things. Priorities for COCTA is the climate change, DDM. Um, we have identified the poor municipalities that needs to be rapidly changed and consequences as we as we spoke. In the Department of Forest, Fisheries and Environment, uh, environmental programs, um, there has been consistent underspending that's impacting job, employment and skills development for women that needs to be dealt with. The Climate Change Response Fund needs to be sorted out um, and it needs to be coordinated with provincial and municipal disaster grants. Just energy transition, leaving no one behind, the management and realistic pace uh, so that we don't lose jobs in the in the uh, coal sector, but also at the same time we manage the transition in an effective way that keeps livelihoods and also jobs, uh, and that is also key. Transfer of fishing laws to enforcement, uh, enforcement to the Border Management Authority is something that's still outstanding. So in terms of the pronouncements, the continuation of the EPWP rollout programs, more green uh, energy projects to reduce greenhouse and also create jobs and the establishment of the climate fund. In terms of land reform and rural development, uh, Parliament should monitor and, uh, the oversight of land reform. 30% uh, agricultural land to be in the hands of Black South Africans by 2030. Uh, uh, we need to ensure that that also translates into human um, um, allocation. Also, uh, rural infrastructure, bridges, roads uh, is something that is is a remains a priority. Um, a target year for government induced beneficiary selection land allocation in twenty twenty for land vulnerable women. Fifty percent of land must be redistributed to allocated to women. Forty percent for youth and 10 living with disabilities. Uh, however, we haven't seen any targets in the department's annual performance plan and something that we need to monitor going forward. Uh, rural infrastructure, uh, we've noted the water infrastructure constructions and ro uh, roads and bridges that was mentioned. Um, and this is very important to uh, rural economies uh, going forward. So these are some of the pronouncements that was made. Innovative funding mechanisms for construction. We need to deal with construction mafia. It's still keeping us hostage. Uh, we need to ensure that we build this inclusive economy. PSA, public service and administration. Um, we need to monitor oversight and legislate to ensure that the uh, execution of freezing orders of the 14 billion be granted to the NPA asset forfeiture. Um, the 8.6 billion corrupt proceeds will be returned to the state and the uh, government security cluster must provide more details around this. The reduction of further measures to strengthen um, anti-corruption, whistleblowing, regulate lobbying, and also prevent undue influence of public reps in procurement, something that needs to be taken up seriously, was mentioned already. Impact of consequence management and strengthening accountability. Statistics on RAND value recovered and also officials charged with most conduct must be, must be uh, outlined. Um, Tourism, let's quickly deal with some of the oversights there. Put the uh, tourism sector in place to mitigate uh, effects of climate. Tourism programs, skills programs, opportunities for young uh, people to be part of the tourism value chain, uh, transformation of the sector. Advancements have been made and been noted. Um, transformation, especially around 
for women. The Sandam Gold report highlights the impact of COVID has also uh, resulted in transformation not being prioritized by business due to the focus on, on recovery. And so whilst we acknowledge COVID and uh, the important, we cannot do this at the expense of dealing with redress and uh, economic transformation. Uh, so these are some of the priorities. The visa system, uh, 2023 visa openness report shows South Africa is low ranked on the visa system and this reform needs to be uh, expedited. Uh, new regulations need to be published around the visa system. Water and sanitation, uh, we need to monitor and oversight this. So there is strategic projects in, in Lesotho, um, Highlands, Clan William, Hazelmere, Tanzin, Utsumbumbi, Val, Hamahara, Pilansburg. These are all massive, big infrastructure projects that we need to monitor to ensure that we get uh, water security, but also more jobs, local jobs um, and content for local um, uh, service providers. Priorities, access to water as a human right is a key issue, infrastructure, security. So we'll monitor all of that. Um, new and innovative funding, we're also looking at that. And water sources to be, uh, to be diversified, especially um, surface water to secure water security and, uh, and supply. I hope this has been helpful. Um, thank you very much for your kind attention.